I want to put together a a mini festo. I think on a lot of the reporting relating to the Hamas stuff. Um, I think it's probably good to do a retrospective to try to figure out like what the f is going on. Um, how are so many people? How are so many people like fucking up so much? Uh, it's not even uniquely Hassan though. He definitely is the leader of the left leaning stuff uh, online, the alternative left leaning stuff online. But um, a lot of mainstream publications fucked up a lot of the reporting in in hmm in ways that it shouldn't have been. Do you mean the media screwed up with the hospital story and the forty beheaded baby story? The forty beheaded baby story and the hospital story fuck ups are two completely different types of fuck ups. And I hate the lack of critical thinking that people have uh, when it comes to viewing somebody making a mistake. Not all mistakes are the same. Um, hold on, f me. Um, what was I saying? The, the baby error and the, uh, the 40 beheaded baby error and the hospital bombing error are, are, are not the same type of error. Like, you can follow the genesis of each, of each misreporting, and one of them shouldn't happen, but I think you could see what was going on. The other was clearly unacceptable. <clears throat> From what I could see, the, the beheaded baby one, it seemed like the genesis of this was 40 babies were reported killed. Somebody saw at least one of the babies were beheaded. And then somehow people conflated that with 40 babies were beheaded, okay? Now, one, it, you can see where like it came from, even if it was stupid and sloppy. But two, there was um, the, but two, there was, um, you, uh, sorry, but two, uh, it was mostly factually correct, right? There were 40 dead babies, at least one was decapitated. They weren't all 40 decapitated, right? But so it's mostly correct, not 40 beheaded babies, just 40 dead babies with a few of their heads cut off, right? But you could, you could follow the genesis of like that, the evolution of how that got fucked up. The hospital bombing, the initial claim, every single part of this failed and the fact reporting was unimaginably stupid. The original claim was Israel is the I, Israel missile striked a hospital building with 400 people dead. All four parts of this misreport were not only completely untrue, there was no factual basis for almost any part of this. It wasn't Israel. It was probably that Islamist jihadist group. It clearly wasn't a missile. Okay, the crater is as bad a big as if your mom jumped out the 10th story fucking window, okay, in a building in New York, okay? The crater was not there. There were no fucking way there were 400 people dead. Impossible. And it wasn't a hospital that was hit. It was a parking lot outside of a hospital. Every single part of the reporting on that is completely not true. The fact that people are trying to compare the, uh, the 40 beheaded baby thing uh, to... The 40 beheaded baby thing to the, the, the hospital bombing misreport is, it's a bad faith. It's a bad, you're not, nobody is seriously making that argument in good faith. It's just a desperate attempt to try to both sides of the situation. Yeah, sure. One of them could be more forgiving than the other, but the main problem still remains. The media ran with the stories before correcting them or waiting for more. I'm sorry, did they? Somebody could correct me. I'm curious. Did any mainstream media outlet report 40 beheaded babies? Any of them? Because I know it was a lot on social media, but I don't remember reading any, me any mainstream media reporting 40 beheaded babies. There's just so many unbelievable things. Hundreds of people have been killed by an explosion at a crowded hospital in Gaza City. Health officials say... <laughs> Why not? Why would you put this here? This article is unbelievable. I read this article; it was insane. Health officials, what the? F this sounds like some legit. Sh when this is the, I think it was the first article that the BBC had written. Um, one doctor condemned what he called a massacre at Al Ali Arab Hospital, while others, another, spoke of a scene of total devastation. Keep in mind that they're going by 
eyewitness testimony with no pictures. No, Bro, it's 2023. Like, 5 billion people have smartphones now. A scene of total devastation. Why not ask for a single picture? A single picture. Palestinian officials say the blast was caused by an Israeli airstrike, but the Israeli military says it was a result of a failed rocket launch by Palestinian Islamic Jihad, an accusation the militant group rejected. Um, Israeli warplanes and artillery have been bombing Gaza in response to an unprecedented... Hold on. This is my favorite part of the... Um, my favorite part of the article here is... 